Here's what I really think of Croatia. Hi everyone, it's me Mitchell James and welcome back and this is Franca, Croatia and her song is crazy like Raya You're making me crazy, 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 just a little bit um, Immediately, Franca captured my attention As soon as she began singing a little consonant of a word, I was hooked in You make me feel the music also left me hooked and intrigued and committed from the get-go. I was like, okay, okay. And my eyes didn't part from the television when I was watching. I was quickly obsessed with the da-da-da-da-da music beat. You make my heart go. I was like, oh, that's it's really different. That's really different. No one else is doing that. And I really liked it and I, it just got me into it and I was like, damn it, this is good. She's clearly a professional. You can just see that she knows how to capture a, a, a camera and sing to the audience. I think on stage, I have a feeling just from watching her perform in the music video that she's going to be able to work the stage and work the television at the same time. She went I can tell that she has really good presence about her and showmanship. The melody in this chorus is sophisticated, hooky, and it shows off her range. Crazy. Go crazy for your love. Everything you want in a really good Eurovision chorus that's for a three minute song. The speaking bit, referencing Bonnie and Clyde and all that was a little bit weird and wasn't really necessary. I love you. For this love knows no reason, no games Just like Bonnie and Clyde who La La Land This whole song kind of gives off like do, 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 Like what Fifty Shades of Grey tries to do In that it's like kind of got that sexy appeal to it I definitely felt that anyway And by you doing like this little speaking, whispering thing Just kind of validated it to me That this is a sexy kind of song But I knew that already Everyone will know that You, you already did a really good job from like one second into the song so you don't really need to go on and do like this really sexy talk that a lot of people do that at the beginning to get the audience knowing like this is a sexy song that really bad armenian singer love wave look i know it might sound strange but suddenly i'm not the same i used to be they did that as well at the beginning but you don't need to put it in in the middle and you'd, I don't even think it's needed, really. I would have liked to see more singing take over that little section of the sing speaking. But anyway, it's a little thing. I like the end bridge part as well because it kind of, you know, you had, like I said, you had a nice verse, you had a really good chorus, nice verse, really good chorus. And then you had this really unique end bridge as well, which just showed off more of her range and that she can elevate the song and it really kind of progressed the song along as well. Sweet fantasy, I can help it, can hide it, I'm shooting across the gave dynamic which I love 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 an excellent finish and had a resolution with the da 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 I go crazy. so it, I was like this is this song is cut print moving on it's really good and written so well and it ends with everyone being satisfied at the end it just resolved Love that in a pop song, love that in a Eurovision song, gives a big tick from me. I hope, I hope, come on, please, Franca, that Franca has a really good live voice because everything else is great, great tone on a studio recording. When she sings live, I hope that she's not pitchy, I hope that she's not quivery. Choose the right backing singers for her as well because backing up, one thing, I'm, I've been watching really old Eurovision videos, like not really old, but the past 10 years and stuff, and what can be a great song can be ruined by really crappy backing singers and sometimes songs can be really well done with good backing singers so pick wisely with backing singers and that they connect with her and mesh well so i'm kind of excited to see how this performance goes it's actually probably one of my most excited i don't think it'll win i think it'll make the final for sure could get top 10 
We'll see, but for what this song is, it's great. I like it, and I just hope it does well. It doesn't, it probably lacks that epic sound, which is what like a sensual, sexy kind of song usually does. It lacks that like, this is an occasion song. Doesn't have that sense of occasion, I must say. But I do wish you all the best, Franca, and a good song nonetheless. That's it for now, please comment, like, and most importantly, subscribe to see all my Eurovision review entries. And until next time, bonsoir Europe, and goodbye.